Hi guys, it's April. Hope you're having a great day. I had a friend reach out to me recently. She sells unique products and she asked me if I wanted to try and review a couple of things for you guys. And of course I said yes, because I'm always looking for new natural um, cosmetic, makeup, skincare brands to test out and let you know what I think. Um, so she was nice enough to send me three different things to try out. I wanna let you know um, while she did gift me these products, all of the opinions and reviews of the products are my own. I wouldn't lead you guys astray and I want to make sure that anything that I'm reviewing for you is stuff that I would use or do use myself and know that it's um, safe to use as well. She sent me three different products to try and I've been using them for about a week or so. So this will be more of a first impression type of video of what I think of the three products. The first thing she sent me is this beachfront bronzer and this is in the shade Hermosa. The bronzer they sell comes in three different shades and I believe this is the medium shade. What's cool about this is um, half of it is matte and half of it is glitter so it creates a nice transition on your face. A lot of times I find bronzers end up really muddy on your skin and so far I haven't experienced that with this bronzer. Um, so I use a contour brush. I put a, a little bit of bronzer under where I would put my blush. So on kind of the corners of my cheeks, a little bit on my temples, kind of anywhere where the sun would kiss your face naturally. Um, what is kind of a bummer about this brand is the only thing I found on the environmental working group site rated is their mascara. But I did go through ingredient and by ingredient for you guys on the bronzer. And so my guess is it's probably a uh, rating of between a three or a four. And the reason it's a little higher of a rating is the first ingredient in it is talc. And talc is an aluminum based product compared to other bronzers you could select. This is a really good one. And again, I've liked the coverage of it. I liked the staying power of it um, and would recommend this if you're looking for a new bronzer. The next product she sent me is this eye cream. It's the Splurge Cream Shadow. And this is in the shade Elegant, which is kind of a nice um, glittery champagne color, which I thought would be perfect for summer. I was looking to replace the eyeshadow primer, or the base that I was using from MAC. Um, and while this isn't an exact duplicate or replacement for that, what I like about this product is it's really lightweight. It's a lot lighter weight and silkier than I thought it was going to be. So I don't even need a primer to put under this. I'd use a, a flat eye makeup brush and this is the MAC in the 242, I believe. Um, and I use this, dip it in there and kind of put it all over the lids of my eyes. And then I still use eyeshadow to put under my brow and in my crease. Um, but I find that this product doesn't crease a whole lot either. I find a tiny bit of creasing, but way at the end of the day, so around five o'clock, and it's barely noticeable. I have to be really close to the mirror to even notice it creasing. Um, so I think this is going to be a really great product for summer to just pop on my lids, put a little mascara and lip gloss on, and head out the door. The last product she sent me to review were their Moodstruck 3D Fiber Lashes. And this is the product that Unique is most well known for and has a lot of buzz and reviews about. It comes in this hard case, which is like a sunglass case. And when you open the case, it has two different tubes in it. It has the transplanting gel, which is the taller tube, and then it has the actual fibers, which is the smaller tube. And the transplanting gel is beeswax, beeswax based, so it is naturally a little thicker and you have to warm it up in your hands to melt a little bit to be able to put on your lashes. So she told me, you know, either warm it up in your hand, no joke, you guys stick it in your cleavage while you're getting ready so that when it's time to do your lashes, it's all set to go. Um, to use this product, you need to do one eye at a time. So you unscrew both of the tubes. You do the transplanting gel first and also suggest that you wipe all the excess gel kind of off around the base. Um, you do kind of lid to top of your lash coat with the gel and then mid lash to top lash of the fibers and then another coat of the gel on top to seal everything in. 
I found that this product length lengthens your lashes so much that I was the first couple of days using it, getting some black stuff like above my eye because every time I would blink, my lashes would literally hit the upper part of my eye because they were so lengthened and extended. Um, so once I figured out kind of to make sure one eye is completely dry before I do the other, I haven't had any issues with this product. I love the way it lengthens my lashes. I love that it's kind of all natural um, fibers and beeswax based and really good natural ingredients for you. The other nice thing about this product is it's water resistant, um, which is helpful for a lot of reasons, obviously. Um, but it's really easy to get off with eye makeup remover or I typically use some sweet almond oil or olive oil and put it on my hands and rub it all over my lashes to make sure I get all of the mascara or the fibers off. I've tried a lot of natural mascaras over the last year and some are too liquidy and I don't feel like do anything for your lashes and some dry out really fast. Again, I've only been using this for the last week or so, but so far I've been really happy with this product and I would highly recommend this. If you guys wanna try out any of these products for yourself, I'll put a link below or somewhere kind of in the video that you can click to um, the website and take a look at all the different products. Like I said in the beginning, unfortunately not a lot of them are easily accessible from a rating perspective on the environmental working group. So I did go through a couple of them ingredient by ingredient and most of the ones that I've come across so far are safe and clean and pure to use just like their brand promise says. Um, so check it out, try them out. You'll probably see a few of these products further along in favorite favorites videos to come. Um, in the meantime, subscribe to Only April to see more brand review videos and I'll see you guys next time.